Welcome to Renex Help Tutorial. In this session, you are going to see about how to sync two Apache web servers and website using rsync. It is a very simple and versatile command of Linux to create a backup of your website. This tutorial will help you to sync data between two web servers with rsync. The purpose of creating a mirror of your web server with rsync is if your main web server fails, your backup server can take over to reduce downtime of your website. This way of creating a web server backup is very good and efficient for small and medium sized web business. Here I am going to sync two Apache web servers. Let's produce with setuping rsync to create a mirror of your web server. Here I am having two servers. One is main server and another one is backup server. Now I am going to show you the IP address of my main server. IP space A. The IP address of the main server is 5.189. And I am going to show you the IP address of the backup server. The IP address of the backup server is 5.190. Now I am going to show you the fully qualified domain name for this server. Host name space hyphen F. You can able to see the fully qualified domain name for this server. Now I am going to show you the fully qualified domain name for the backup server. Host name space hyphen F. Here you can able to see the fully qualified domain name for the backup server. First you need to install rsync on, on both the server for that m install rsync. Now the package has been installed in the main web server successfully. Now I am going to install the rsync in the backup server. For that I need to move to the backup server. Here you need to install the package yum install rsync. The rsync package has been installed in the backup server successfully. Now I am going to move to the main server. Now I am going to create one user to run rsync. First, we can set up rsync with a root user also, but for security reason, we can create unprivileged user on main web server. For that, user add Linux, and I'm going to give password for that Linux user. P A S S W D Linux. Again, you have to type the password. The password has been set for the user successfully. Now it is time to test your rsync setup on your backup server. And for doing that you need to move to the backup server. And then you have to run the following command. rsync space hyphen evz he space ssh the name of the user at the IP address of the server 189 colon slash var slash www to var slash www and press enter. You have to give yes and type password here. You can see that your rsync is now working fine and synchronizing data. I have used var www to transfer. Here you can change the folder location according to your need now i'm going to set up automatic sync with ssh passwordless login for that in the backup server you need to do configuration ssh hyphen keygen space hyphen t rsc space hyphen b 2048 it will be generating a public and private key on the backup server and then press enter. It is asking whether it want to save the file in the same location or it need some other location. I am going to give the same location. So press enter. Here you need to enter some faces. You have to repeat it once. The key has been generated. Now our public and private key has been generated. and we have to share it with our main server so the main server will recognize the backup machine and will allow it to login again 
without asking any password for that ssh hyphen copy hyphen id space hyphen i space the path where the key has been saved is root slash dot ssh slash id underscore rsa dot pub space root at and the ip address of the web server and press enter it is asking for password to authenticate now the key has been added successfully to the main server now you can try to log in from the backup machine to the main machine for that root at the ip address of the server sorry it is ssh root at 89 and press enter it will be asking for the face what i have typed there i have to give the face now it has been get logged in now i am going to set cron tab to automatic sync for that i need to go to backup server already i have taken the ssh for the main web server so i need to exit it here i have came to backup server now i am going to configure the cron tab for that cron tab space hyphen e inside that you need to do cron tab configuration it is star slash phi tab r sync space hyphen a v z h e space root at 192.168.5.189 the ip of the server colon slash var slash www space slash var slash www after that you just save the file now the cron tab has been installed successfully the above cron and rsync command simply synchronizing var www from the main web server to a backup server in every 5 minutes you can change the time and default location configuration according to your need thank you for watching